Hello everyone, welcome to Gentleman's Cooking Channel. My name is Renat and tonight I'm gonna show you my top 5 edible Christmas gifts. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna cook tonight is gonna be bacon candy. This is the perfect gift for the pancake lovers who can tap this bacon candy on the top of their pancakes. So we're gonna need 5 thick cut bacon and we're gonna need brown sugar. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna place the sugar on the top of the plate and we're gonna coat our thick cut bacon with the sugar and place it on a wire rack. My advice to you, put the foil under the wire rack so it's gonna be easier to clean. Meanwhile, you can preheat your oven to 425 degrees. By the time you're gonna be ready with the bacon, your oven is gonna be hot and ready to use. You can put some extra brown sugar. Now place it into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. So as we can see, our bacon is nice and crispy. Now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna, we're just gonna coarsely chop our bacon. And we're just gonna, just gonna transfer it to our four ounce jar. You can keep it up to one month in your refrigerator or let's be honest, you're gonna eat it in one day. Okay, so next item in our list is gonna be no-bake cookies with chocolate, peanut butter and chewy oats. For them we're gonna need some milk, sugar, salt, cocoa powder, melted chocolate, peanut butter, oatmeal. Also we're gonna need heat resistant spatula, whisk, a digital thermometer and a pot. So we're gonna put our milk, sugar, cocoa powder, and salt. So we're gonna bring everything to boil and cook the mixture when it's gonna reach 230 degrees for approximately six minutes. So, as we can see, the temperature reached 230 degrees, so we're just gonna keep it boiling for another 5-6 minutes. If you can see, if it goes more than 230 degrees, you can lower the heat and just keep it exactly 230 degrees. So now our mixture is ready, now we're gonna whisk in chocolate and a pit and butter. Now we're gonna add our instant oats. And we're gonna fold it using heat resistant spatula. Now, spoon your mixture into a tray using a pair of spoons. Cool. 
Cool your cookies for 15 to 20 minutes and transfer them to airtight container. So the next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is gonna be chocolate truffle. We're gonna need heavy cream, chocolate, butter and liqueur. I prefer cognac. So bring the heavy cream to boil, transfer it to a mixing bowl and add chocolate. Now you're gonna whisk it until it's gonna be thick and smooth. For more smooth truffle, I prefer to add some butter. And we're adding liqueur to add some flavor in it. So whisk your ganache until it's going to be thick and smooth, then transfer it to a tray and chill it overnight. Once the ganache is ready, scoop out the small balls Roll them into balls and after that roll them into cocoa powder. The next item on our list is going to be herb infused honey. You can use either single combination of herbs, either you can mix them. I prefer to use sage, but you can use also rosemary or thyme or any other type you want. So what we're going to do, we're going to transfer sage into a mason jar and we're just going to tap it with the honey. The next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna mix it well. So the next thing you need to do, you need to leave your honey for five days in a cool dry place. After that you should strain it in a jar and present it as a gift. So the last item on my list is gonna be flavored salt. They are very easy to make and they add a perfect touch to any dish. You can make any flavors from cinnamon to wasabi, but tonight we're gonna make rosemary and lemon salt. So we're gonna need coarse salt, dried rosemary and lemon zest. So you should prepare your lemon zest two hours before, so it's gonna be dehydrated and it's gonna be ready to use. What you're gonna need, you just need to mix everything and transfer it to a container. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos like that.